Hello, everyone. We will begin shortly. The class should begin in five minutes, but we'll give people more time to, so that they start coming in. I'm sorry, could you please mute your microphone?
And I would also like to say that if you could change your name to your actual name, like your Zoom name, if you go to participants, that should be an option over there. I'm going to give it three, four minutes, maybe, just to make sure everyone's here. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot more people joining in. So I'll just start by introducing myself. So my name is Akshan, and I'm going to be your tutor for this coding class in this term. Um, I, I am brought up and born from India, and I'm currently living in Michigan, United States. And uh, I just completed my uh, bachelor's degree in computer science. I do have some experience coding uh, uh, other classes before in Python, as well as other experiences in making web applications and making mobile applications and that sort of stuff. So uh, that's all about my experiences. And something I would like to get on to next is uh, your introductions. So I'm gonna wait probably two more minutes. I think some more people are coming in and then we can get started. I'm gonna go in the order that you received in the email with all the names listed in it. So I shall let you and I shall let you know when we can get started. All right, can everybody see my email? Uh, sorry, my screen. Just say yes or no in the chat. Uh, yes, I can send you the recording later. Okay, good. So the first person on the list is uh, Abdul Hamid, I hope I said your name right. Are you here? You can turn on your mic and speak if you want. Okay, we can go to the next person. Oh, 
sorry, are you here? Okay. Um, so the next person in the list. Okay, so the next person on the list we have here is Cesar. I, I hope I said your name right. If you could turn your mic off and tell me a little bit about yourself, your coding experience, and why you want to learn coding. Uh, I studied banking and finance in Nigeria. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Um, someone has their microphone on. If you could please turn it off there's some interference. Thank you. Okay, you can continue, sorry about that. Yeah, so I studied banking and finance from the University of Benin in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, I've not had any coding experience, but, and that's why I applied for the PPI Coding Academy because I wanted to learn coding, I wanted to learn how um, to use Python for data analysis, economic analysis, and, you know, I, I've heard about how, you know, with Python, you can be able to solve, you know, various kind of um, problems. So that's why I'm here. And I hope, you know, the tutor will be able to help me. Yep. And the class will be able to help me you know, figure it out as, as we progress in the class. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited about maybe data analysis with Python and any other thing that it can solve around economic Definitely. policy and stuff. Yeah. I think that's an excellent point. Python has very good applications in data science and data analysis. And that's definitely a good point of view to go. Good job. Um, so the next person we have on the list is, let's see. So we have Nuruddin uh, up next. I hope I said your name right. You... Uh, <clears throat> Hi, I'm Nuruddin Radwe. I'm Moroccan. I'm a business and economy journalist uh, at Al Monitor. It's an American website um, focusing oh. in the Middle East. Yeah. Um, uh, I have a master in public policy with uh, with a focus on economic analysis. Amazing. I have another master in, in media and cultural studies with uh, like a minor in sociology. Uh, I I took both my masters from Qatar, one from um, uh, Hamad Ben Khalifa University Qatar Foundation, the other from Doha Institute. I am as a researcher, I'm always interested in data analysis because data can help me answer a lot of questions. And um, I took this year to learn uh, a lot of data programs with more focus on Stata and R and Python. Uh, I have I have some 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 experience with Stata when I was doing my master's and doing my research as a research assistant. Um, mm -hmm. uh, But with Python, I have no idea. Uh, expecting that it could be something similar, but probably more professional. I have some uh, experience in, 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 in statistical analysis, so mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I, I will like move in forward. That's amazing. More. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely agree there's some similarities, but yep, there's some differences as well as you'll learn about along the way. Okay, so let's see who we have up next. Okay, up next we have Molihi. I hope I didn't pronounce your name wrong, I'm so sorry. 
Oh, hello, hi. Hello. Yeah, I'm Mujehi Sukonyala from Lesotho. I'm currently doing my postgraduate with the University of Stellenbosch in South Africa. Okay. I have no coding experience or background. Yep, that is fine. This is an introductory course, but <laughs> as you do not have uh, prior experience, it will have a certain learning curve. But just know that that is totally fine and you'll be okay throughout the course. Okay, thank you so much. Yep. Okay, so up next we have... We have Abdul Wafahab. I'm sorry, I think I pronounced your name wrong. If you can correct me. Sorry, are you here? Uh, I can repeat your name. Uh, Abdul Wahab. Um, okay, um, I, I guess we can come back to you later. Um, okay, up next we have We have Goit Sion. Hi, can you hear me? Oh, I just got your message. Okay. So after that, we have. Um, Martin, Martin is not here. Uh, okay, we have Charmaine up next. Hello, Charmaine, are you there? Okay, um, moving on, we have Simfiwe. Are you there? Or is everyone sleeping? Okay, uh, up next we have Okay, so if you haven't spoken until now, just uh, drop a me in the chat. Oh, sorry. Yep, Charmaine, you can go ahead and say your piece. I just. Okay, Charmaine, uh, you can drop your introduction in the chat for everyone. Uh, we can't hear you, I think. Okay, so ha if you haven't spoken until now, drop a hi in the chat. And Vicky, you can go next. Hi, everyone. I'm Victoria anyway, from um, FCC Nigeria. I'm currently working on my bachelor's in civil engineering. And I have um, little experience working with Python, very little experience, but I would like to broaden my experience, broaden my knowledge. And that's why I'm in this class. I'm happy to be here. Okay, awesome. I really appreciate you telling me that. And I think you will have wonderful applications with your major. Okay, so up 
Next, we have Rashida. You can go next. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Rashida Kayongo Namboze from Kampala. I'm a fashion designer and I specialize in uh, pattern making and garment production. But I uh, I don't have any knowledge with the coding. That's why I'm here. Okay. That I, is, yeah, in the, yeah, that in the last lockdown, I tried to like self learn from a free code camp, but it was just uh, uh, overwhelming. So in the, uh, it's just nice to be part of this program. Excellent. We are very happy to have you here as well. And I okay. think not having enough experience won't be an issue as long as you know that the learning curve will be hard in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I expect that. Yeah, thank you. So up next we have okay. So Charmaine, we couldn't hear you last time. If you can drop your uh, introduction in the chat, and everyone would like to know about you more over there. And after that, we have uh, the chess. The chess, are you there? Oh, I hello, think... everyone. I'm here. Hi, give me a little introduction about yourself. Okay, my name is Chanya Jushes, and I'm from Cameroon. Uh, actually, um, I have a, a small knowledge in coding because I'm doing software engineering class, and I'm here just to, to know, to learn other language. Uh, uh, speak Python because Python, as they told us, that Python is a very good language to do. To yep. that is a very good point. And what may I ask you, what coding languages are you already familiar with? If at, if you aren't familiar with any languages at all, uh, actually, I yeah, know C and C plus plus. Okay, excellent. So yeah, that should definitely be a very big help and should definitely help decrease the learning curve a little bit for you. Okay. So up next we have Steve. Hello everyone, um, I'm Steve Tep from Cameroon. Um, and uh, I have a bachelor degree in uh, industrial logistics, uh, but actually I'm working in the digital marketing I'm also a certified inbound marketer. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in the coding, though I don't have uh, uh, knowledge in it. And I would like to use it in order to improve my digital skills as far as digital marketing is concerned. Thank you very much. Yep, excellent, excellent. Okay, so hi, Abdul Bahab, and hi, Charmaine. I have read your introduction, and it's very nice to meet you. So up next, we have Cyril. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, so um, could you tell me, uh, do you have any programming experience and what made you want to do coding? OK, I'm, uh, I'm Cyril. I'm currently doing my PhD study in South Africa. Okay. I'll be working on the automatic method by using MATLAB. I also need some little coding in order to run my program. Mm -hmm. But I have a little experience in coding in a linear regression. That's little. Okay. So Very that's why I come on. That's why I can start to learn more. I think it should help you a lot with the learning curve, and definitely that should be a help. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, so up next we have uh, Zipang. I hope I said that line right. Um, I'm not sure if I said this name right. I'm going to try. I, I'll just spell it out N Z E P A N G. Okay, moving on, we have Adisa. 
Okay, hi everyone. I'm Adisa from Nigeria. So I'm currently a technical support slash IT support and specialist limited in Nigeria. So recently, I actually want to move into software engineering. So these are the things I don't be of the great um, code to learn. So I hope I can find this. Excellent. I think you should have an, a good experience here and hopefully you learn more. If anyone so else is left to introduce themselves, please write a hi. I will wait for 30 seconds before moving on to the next part of our lecture. Okay, I think everyone has introduced themselves. Uh, okay. Hi, Simfi, we hope you have a good experience with coding and you should have a bit of a learning curve, but that is to be expected. So, okay, up next, we're gonna look at our syllabus. And that is something I will be sending you later on as well. So, oh, oops, I have, that's not the right screen. All right, so, all right, so this is our syllabus for our semester. Uh, I'm your instructor. This is my email address. Feel free to email either me or Raj at any point during the course as you have a question. Be sure to uh, email both of us uh, simultaneously so that whoever is available first can answer your questions faster. Uh, classes will be held every day at this, uh, sorry, not every day, on every Saturday at the same time at 3.30 p.m. GMT or 15.30 GMT. This is the Zoom link that I already sent in the email. So a little bit about the course itself. The course will be an introduction to programming, which will cover a basic introduction to the principles of programming, including algorithms and logic. Um, Looks like we have a question. Oh. Hello, Zipang. Um, that's okay. We The microphones sometimes don't work. And uh, I hope you're excited to start programming. Okay, anyway, so we were talking about the course description. So we are gonna be doing an introduction to programming. So students will engage in hands-on programming tasks in the Python programming language as they write and test their own code using the approach professional programmers use in the field. You will be doing a variety of things, including uh, variables, data structures, functions, lists, loops, and so on. And you will also have a final project at the end of the course, which will have a final project presentation. We are still working that out, and I shall let you know more about that as soon as I can. You will have enough time to complete it. So our course goals are to use software programs that are common in an IT workplace. We are going to be using Python specifically. We are gonna be learning to apply introductory programming skills to specific problems, and we're gonna be writing and testing code. So for success, after successful completion of the course, each student will be able to read Python code and gain a basic understanding of what the purpose of the program is, that means whenever you have a program in front of you you will be able to easily tell what that code is supposed to do another thing that it will uh, help you do is be able to actually write that code as well and solve these problems and you will also be able to test and debug python code the required readings and text for this class is the python notes for professionals if you click on this link in the syllabus it should take you to the free book and you can save it. And this is a long book. We are not gonna be covering the entirety of this book, but you're welcome to go through the entire book if it helps you out and helps you develop your knowledge. Uh, this is over 800 pages. It is a very, very good resource. And I would definitely recommend going through it as much as possible while you're in your course. 
Um, so moving on, we have other equipment slash materials required. So you will need access to a computer which has Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, which is required to run Python and PyCharm. Uh, in terms of the assignments and grading policy, assignments will be given at the end of each lecture. So, after, for example, after this lecture, I will be sending you your first assignment about which I'll just talk in a little bit. And uh, that should be with you within one or two hours of me finishing the class. It shouldn't be more than that. So you must complete said assignment and turn them in via email before the next uh, following lecture. Otherwise, it will be considered a failed assignment. We will be giving feedback on these submissions and give a pass fail grade on each assignment. If you fail the first attempt on an assignment, you will have an additional week to just rewrite the assignment and rework the code. And uh, you can do as many revisions as you want until you uh, uh, get the required grade, but you will still have just one more week. So you will have to stay on top of these projects and really be working on them earlier rather than later. The final due date of revisions is before the second lecture, as I just said. If during any of this you have any questions, please drop them in the chat. I will keep trying to answer them as soon as I can. So up next, we have classroom protocol. We are all going to be meeting every Saturday and you're expected to be here on time and uh, I will be starting each lecture on time. So I do expect you to be there on time. I will actually be joining the se session at least five minutes in advance.